Hey guys, it's Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today I'm here for a quick breakdown, not on a character, but on the breakaway mechanic, or the, what do they call it in here? The guard cancel attack. Um, yeah, so the guard cancel, I believe that's what people call it. It's essentially when you're blocking a move that the enemy is doing, and then you do what would be the input for an armor attack, except it just performs a, com a combo ender. So if I'm blocking, that's what I did then, and Bakugo was sent flying away. It's an instant meteor blow, so I'm not going to get anything off of it, so it's not an OP tool that I can just use, oh my opponent attacked me, I'll just do this off of it, um, back at them. So how you perform it, as it says in here, while you're guarding, if you're um, before or after an enemy's attack. So if you're in an attack string or something crazy, while you're holding the guard button, do the input that we would do for your yellow attack, or your tilt attack. So you do that while you're guarding, and if they're attacking you, it'll do the guard cancel, which is essentially this like screen freeze guard break cancel. You can do it after at almost any point, you can mistime it. If you press it right before and a new attack hits, um, you'll get hit out of it like I... I... I did it before accidentally. But essentially, if you know the timing of your enemy's attack windows, you can punish basically anything and send them flying away. This is like really useful for people like... um. 100% full cowling Dekus, or people who just really like to go crazy with the pressure. Actually, characters like Bakugo as well, that uh, just really annoy you and pester you up close by using like crazy block strings and cancelling into things, and you're like, when is there going to be a gap in this? Oh yeah, the main use for this is if you, someone's attacking you and doing all these dash cancels and moves you've never seen before, you can just go into this and then not have to deal with it. And just send them away be like, yeah, no, I don't really know what that is. I, I'll just, like, send you far away and reset the neutral. And it's, essentially it's a better option than doing the sidestep, because if, see, I'm mashing the sidestep here, and the only place that I can sidestep... Oops, my god isn't broken. The only place I can sidestep is between that last hit, where there's a very obvious gap. But the guard cancel can be used in basically after any attack, I believe. It doesn't matter how quick they are in between each other, if, as long as you don't press it like on the same frame like I did there, and you get hit as you press it, like that, it'll be good at countering basically anything. And as you've seen at the top, you, you might be thinking, oh it's a bit OP or something, but if you haven't noticed, my plus ultra meter is going down for using it, so it uses the same amount of meter that it would for a dash cancel and combo, which I think is pretty fair. So it's not something that you'll want to abuse and do too often, but if you're like really in a pinch or your health's low or something, you've got like enough meter to spare, and you just don't want all this chip damage or like mix-ups into a sit or something on block, because people like doing that a lot. Just send them. Oops, that's just an armor attack. Just send them flying away with the guard cancel and, you know, you can save yourself costs a little bit of bar, so yeah, the same amount as you can see that it would do a dash cancel, which in my books is pretty cheap. Some people don't like to use it because it costs a plus ultra meter, but I think it's a really good tool for getting yourself out of a pinch. Um, yeah, that's essentially all I have to say about it. The input, I'll just repeat again, is guard, and the input you would do for an armor attack. So, and as in any attack string, as long as you don't press it right on the frame that you get hit by another move, you can just press it, you'll be in an armored screen slow state, and you'll get it out no matter what. You'll be invincible, it costs you a plus ultra meter, it does barely any damage. 500. 500 damage and sends an immediate blow, so you're not going to get combo on anything, just sends them flying away, and that's basically it. Uh, I hope this answers some of your guys' questions about the, the, um, the guard cancel. 
lot of people are kind of confused as to how it works, why would you ever do it, or like, some people are confused when they can do it online because they've never seen it before, but yeah, that's essentially it. I hope this was helpful, and go perform some guard cancels, guys, it's really helpful. See you in the next one, guys, thank you.